The second component is mannequins. Uh, mannequin is a full body patient simulator that mimics human anatomy and physiology and safely allows for teaching of clinical skills or procedures in a professional health uh, care setting. So clinical skill laboratories would have these patient simulators or, or these, these mannequins and uh, they mimic uh, human anatomy and physiology. For example, they may have anatomical models of different organs, liver, intestine, eye, brain, etc. And they may have uh, some physiological functions such as respiration, heartbeat, and pulse. So these, uh, the full body patient stimu uh, simulators are mannequins. They are controlled mechanically and by computers and they uh, can demonstrate some of the physiological uh, functions uh, which can be used to, to teach students. Uh, mannequins, uh, as I mentioned earlier, are mechanical and computer controlled simulators that mimic human appearance and display symptoms and disease processes. So this is a bit more advanced than physiological. The simple mannequins, which can uh, they have some anatomical models and they have simple physiological uh, functions. The next step is that these mannequins, they can have display. Uh, so uh, symptoms and disease processes where the, with the use of software, uh, computer software and, and mechanical facilities. These are called high fidelity mannequins and refer to broad range of full body mannequins that have the ability to mimic at a very high level human body functions. And the high fidelity simulators are mannequins that breathe with breath sounds. They have heart sounds, they have palpable pulses. And these mannequins have monitors that can display, for example, ECG, pulse oximeter, blood pressure, arterial waveforms, etc. And procedures can be for, performed on these simulators, such as bag and mask ventilation, intubation, defibrillation, chest tube placement, etc. So now we, the, the, we have come to this point that we are able to explain the clinical skill labs, and then the mannequins within the clinical skill labs, uh, the, whether they are simple uh, uh, mannequins or high fidelity mannequins, and they can mimic uh, physiological functions as well as pathological symptoms. And they have monitors which can uh, show us what's going on. Using mannequins in clinical simulations allows future and current physicians to practice on plastic. As, uh, as it's usually said before uh, examining real patients. So these are the facilities uh, which prepare the, the medical students to really work with the real patients. Uh, the high fidelity uh, mannequins, they can actually give you a virtual feedback as well. For example, you are uh, trying to, to resuscitate a patient or you are trying to do the chest compressions and these simulators can give you the feedback whether you are doing at the right spot or whether you are applying enough pressure. So they, they have been uh, uh, mechanically and computer controlled to give this uh, feedback so that helps uh, the learner to to uh, practice the skills again and again until they are quite confident in, in uh, doing that procedure. By practicing uh, true clinical skills in a safe and regulated environment, of course, uh, 
uh, it's a very safe and regulated and uh, there is no chance of harming anybody. So future physicians learn permanent and excellent evaluation and treatment techniques. Uh, they, uh, of course, for this, we need uh, very high end uh, 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 mannequins where we can uh, practice and see the response uh, to our different uh, uh, treatment uh, options. So the, the mannequins are used to provide training to students, particularly for medical field. They also to develop emergency patient handling skills and uh, are also used to train military personnel to handle the emergency situations. Uh, uh, before they really can reach the hospital. Uh, simulation is uh, an, an other term which is uh, applicable to both mannequins and uh, standardized patients. So simulation is defined as imitation. It's an imitation of the real world setting to model the environment resources needed and the people involved for providing health care. So this simulation is, uh, uh, is applicable in clinical skill labs as well as in uh, the, the simulated hospitals where they, they can simulate or imitate the real environment needed for uh, training of the students. Also, what are the resources needed and who are the people involved uh, in, 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 in training these and providing these uh, healthcare uh, facilities. And it is extensively adopted in teaching and assessment of uh, medical professionals. Uh, I'm not sure to what extent these facilities are available in, in uh, your, your institutions. Uh, but um, and depending upon the situation and the, the resources, uh, there is a wide range of uh, uh, these facilities available across different uh, institutions. So simulation sessions are beneficial if institutional support provided is adequate because this would involve the financial uh, resources. Uh, these uh, mannequins, for example, they can cost from thousands to millions uh, depending upon the uh, the the functions they they have. They also technology must be available in various forms to meet the requirements of learner at different levels. Simulation is effective in teaching procedural skills, diagnostic skills, communication skills, and developing self confidence. And simulation provides a safe and effective platform for practice without real harm. So mannequins can be used to teach and assess simple physical or physiological findings, for example, pulse and blood pressure. Physical examination technique, for example, digital examination to feel prostate or uh, uh, pap smear. Simple procedures like venipuncture, setting up an IV line or suturing. The high fidelity mannequins can be used to teach and assess complex functions and abnormalities. Usually these are used along with scenarios and, and feedback. For example, abnormal heart sounds, abnormal respiratory sounds, tracheal intubation, CPR, are effects of drugs on, on, on a cardiovascular system and uh, even the surgical procedures. As I said, it depends what uh, kind of mannequins we have and uh, they can be from very simple to uh, be able to help in very complex uh, uh, situations, uh, practice of complex uh, situations. <clears throat> 